Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194 and I'm really excited to jump into this AMG that I, I've one of my favorite cars from uh, this last year uh, running in this series. So let's get going. <clears throat> I forgot I hit the button already. All right, let's keep Low going. Pressure. Stay away from curbs. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do a few of these little uh, test drives with the older uh, vehicles, just because you know they've done some BOP adjustments to them, and I just want to see if there's any difference. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, and, and the sounds or the performance or anything like that. So I'm just gonna hit some of these, some of these, and do some test drives with them just real quick. And I hope you uh, enjoy it. And this one and some other ones that I, I'll do. Uh, AMG is one of my favorite cars. I mean, I got a lot of time. Probably I spent most between this and the Porsche. You know, I got a ton of time in them as far as driving, you know, my career mode and the uh, uh, championship mode. Such a great car. I mean, just AMG, this AMG just does everything good. And uh, I still think it's going to be a contender as far as the, on the performance charts up near the top. And, uh, it's still going to be very competitive, and it's it's very tunable, and I think it, it fits a lot of different styles. So I just think that a, a lot of people will like it because it's just it's not an edgy car, and you can really make it feel the way you like a car to feel instead of uh, kind of hard to tune it out. This one is very tuner friendly, so to speak. See what kind of speed we got. Yeah, so we got 165 right there. So I mean, that's that's right at near that's right at the top of the chart. Uh, I mean, that, the new Aston I think did like 163 or so. So I mean, this is definitely going to be a. And I got an aggressive setup. I don't have one of my setups on it because it would be, you know, it would feel even to the way I wanted it to feel. But I, I wanted to do all these comparison on the you know on basically a, a factory setup so to speak and that way we can kind of get a judgment off of that because I mean I'm sure any of these cars we can you can tune them to to feel the way you would like it to react or feel so but one thing I like about the AMG is one thing you can't do is change the gears and it just seems like the AMG is just no matter what track you go to, the gear ratios just work good there. It just it, it seems to me that way. Or you get some cars and they don't. And of course, with the GT3, um, you know, rules that the you know they're pretty much locked in. You can't change the gear ratios. It, it can be definitely important because it can really be a hindrance when it's not working right, or the you know you, the, you got the extra shifts or out of the the power band of the car or whatever um so and that's why i think one of the amg is just great about that Uh, yeah, there's, we've got a lot of new subscribers, and I'm just really excited, and just want to say thank you. I, I love all the support and the interaction with questions and comments, and I just I, I really really enjoy it. And I can't thank everybody enough. And uh, with my channel, basically, you know, my videos come out Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is usually when my stuff comes out. 
this is around my work schedule so uh, just for everybody that it, that's new or I haven't said anything in the past but that's pretty much when my stuff usually comes out is Tuesday Wednesday Thursday so Of course, I always want to keep these short and sweet, but I think, uh, you know, I think the car feels really strong down the straightaways. It almost feels to me, I think it really feels like to me it's a little stronger down the straightaway than, a, than before. So I'm thinking it's they've added some horsepower to it. So again, you know, to keep it, you know, the VOP in check. And, I mean, I love the way it sounds. I mean, there's just, I don't, it's just a great car all around. So, get out here and take a quick look. Yeah, look at that. Look, at it's got the spray all over it. <laughs> spray from the track, I guess, the rubber. I just look, look, at, look, at, look, look at the rotors are still glowing red. <laughs> look at that. Uh, I just I, I love ACC. It's it is so much fun, so much fun. I like the livery of this car. It's not bad. I kind of like the older liveries from last year better. There's a couple of them I really like that I drove on there. You can see them on my page. I kind of like them better. And there's a red one, the number 88. That's red. I, I kind of like it better than this one. But they're still beautiful. They're still really good looking. Um, like I said, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with them as far as performance. And, of course, again, I know looks and sound are subjective, but I, I, I like it. They have a great you know feeling to them and great communication as far as what the car is doing. I forgot. Let's go in here a little bit. I mean, look at all the detail they got. All the boxes and uh, fire retardant system. What's that over there? Something, another, some other box. I, I, I love all this detail that ACC puts into all this, and I just think it's awesome. Um, things that they don't really have to do, but they're just the passion that they have for it to, to make it the best they can, the most accurate they can. Uh, I just think it's awesome, and I just I just want to see, keep saying thank you to them for people that really enjoy that kind of detail. I, I think it's awesome. Yeah, he says AMG on the door there on the panel. Never seen that before. But anyway, uh, I hope you liked the video, and I hope you come back and check out some more. Like I said, I'll have a few more of these. Um, and if there's anything that I don't have that you would like to see, I'd be glad to do you know try one out. Just, and, uh, of course, I'll have some races coming up. And I hope everybody checks back and, and has a great day. See ya.